This is Mato. In this video I will show you a game between Evgeny Zanon and Israel Kaspi. This is a game from Israeli Team Championship, played in 2019. Evgeny Zanon had white pieces and he started with d4. Israel Kaspi played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to f3, d5, queen's gambit. Knight to c3, d takes on c4 and we have a queen's gambit accepted. e4. Bishop to b4, threatening knight takes pawn on e4. How to defend the pawn on e4? What to do though? Perhaps bishop to g5 comes to mind. Evgeny Zanan played bishop takes on c4, allowing knight takes pawn on e4. Why to move? How would you continue now? Black is threatening and knight takes knight. Evgeny Zanan castled king's side. Knight takes on c3. If bishop takes on c3, b takes on c3, and if knight takes on c3, queen to b3, after knight to d5, rook to e1. And white has a compensation for sacrifice material. If c6, bishop to a3, and if castling, bishop to a3. Again, back to our game. In this position, Israel Kaspi captured on c3 with the knight. Pawn takes knight on c3. Bishop to e7. If bishop takes on c3, then rook to b1. After castling, queen to d3. Bishop to a5, knight to g5. And again, white has a compensation for sacrifice material. Back to our game. Bishop to e7. Knight to e5. Israel Kaspi castle at king's side. Queen to g4. Knight to c6, rook to e1, if bishop to h6, then bishop to f6, rook to e1, f5, queen to f3, knight takes on e5, rook takes on e5, king to h8, bishop to f4, black to move, g5, these kind of moves are sometimes double-edged. It exposes the black king somewhat. Black has a dark squared bishop. That's why he is not afraid to play g5. Bishop to d2. Bishop to d6. Rook to e2. g4. Queen to d3. Queen to f6. Rook from a to e1. Rook to e8. f4. Bishop to d7. Catching up. With the development, black is still pawn up. Bishop to b3, intending c4. b5, c4, b takes on c4, bishop takes on c4. Bishop to f8. This is a very important moment of the game. It is white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Evgeny Zanan played the best move. d5. Can you see the purpose of this move? Israel Kaspi played bishop to g7. d takes on e6. Bishop to c6. The material is equal. Rook to e5. Rook from a to d8 attacking the queen. Queen to e3. Bishop to e4. Bishop to c3, queen to h4, white to move. How would you continue? Evgeny Zanan played rook to f1. e7 is also a pretty good move. Rook to f1, h5, white to move. What would you do in this position? If you had white pieces, please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? How did Alexander the Great Solve the problem with the Gordian knot. Evgeny Zanan played rook takes on e4, the exchange sacrifice. f takes on e4. f5, defending the pawn on e6 and more. King to h7. Let's take it back. If bishop takes on c3, then white plays the obvious. What is the obvious? How would you continue then? Queen to h6 check and after king to g8, e7, 
of the say rook to d5 bishop takes on d5 checkmate back to our game king to h7 bishop takes on g7 king takes bishop white play the move and black resigned and the move is f6 black resigned in view of this continuation king to g6 queen takes on e4 check king to h6 f7 attacking the rook rook to f8 and then e7 i guess we can stop here evgen is an an play this game in the style of gary kasparov who would quite often sacrifice pawns for the initiative what do you think of this game thank you for watching and bye for now